Before this competition entry starts, I would like to say that this was not scripted. I would have made a script, but I didn't have my laptop. Someone else had it. So, you may hear a few stutters or long pauses, that's just the explanation. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy! Deja Vu for Bill and Ben It was nearing the end of March on the island of Sodor, and all the engines were happy. All the engines, except for Edward and Boko. They knew that it was nearly April Fool's Day, and every year Bill and Ben had set up pranks. Last year, they'd hid Spencer's special coach. They'd locked Gordon in his shed, and even made Henry crash into a goods train. Edward and Boko were sitting in Wellsworth Yards discussing it one day. It's nearly time, said Edward. Don't worry, said Boko confidently. I've got a plan. He whispered it to Edward, and when he was finished, he said, I'll speak to the Fat Controller about this later. When he did speak to the Fat Controller, he was told, That's an excellent idea, Boko. I'll make the arrangements at once. The rest of March was pretty uneventful, except for Boko and James having to go to the works on the last day. Bill and Ben were given Boko's work, and while they would normally complain about it, it was almost April Fool's Day, so they didn't mind. The next day when they woke up, Bill told Ben, It's time. But before Ben could say anything, Sir Topham Hatt drove up in his car and stepped out. Bill, Boko still hasn't arrived back from the works. I'll need you to take a goods train he was supposed to take this morning. But sir, squeaked Bill, no excuses, Bill. Ben, you're needed at, um, the main yards, that's it. But sir, squeaked Ben in an even higher pitched voice. I said no excuses, he said. Bill and Ben sadly puffed away to their respective jobs. Bill arrived at Wellsworth Yards and coupled up to his train. Little did he know, he was about to get pranked. A black diesel resembling Boko's shape rolled up next to him. Excuse me, he said. You've got my trucks. I need them. These are mine, squeaked Bill. Go away! Well, you're very rude, said the diesel, and he backed away. All of a sudden, there was a horn from Bill's other side. It was the exact same diesel. Give me my trucks, he said. No, squeaked Bill. And before he could say anything else, the diesel disappeared again. Then from Bill's other side, uh, the diesel yelled, Truck stealer! And ran away. Before Bill had any time to react, the diesel appeared on his other side. Truck stealer! And he ran away. This went on and on until Bill finally yelled, Stop! Stop! in an even higher pitched voice than anyone would think he'd be able to achieve. When he'd finally realized that the diesels had stopped, he looked to his left. There was the black diesel. He looked to his right, and there was the exact same diesel. What? What? what, what? There's two of us, Bill, said Boko. This is my brother. We pranked you. Oh, come on. How did I not realize? Later on, Bill, Boko, and Boko's brother went to see Ben. Ben was with James and another red engine called Winston. Oh, no way, said Ben, when Bill explained what happened. These two did the exact same thing to me. And we got you good, said James. You may be wondering, how on earth did Winston and Boko's brother get onto the island? Well, Sir, when Sir Topham Hatt made the arrangements, w Winston was on the Bluebell Railway, and Boko's brother was working with Wilbert. Both controllers agreed to lend the diesel and the steam engine to Sir Topham Hatt for the prank. 
they stayed on the island for a week or two, helping out. But when it was time to go, Boko and James were very sad. Don't worry, said Winston. We'll come back again soon. Everyone gave them a whistle or a horn as they left. Once they left, Bill said to Boko, I'm sorry I was, we're always cheeky, said Bill. And Ben then joined in. And we're sorry that we played that trick on you all those years ago. It's okay, said Boko. You two are just engines who like to play pranks. Nothing, no harm done, really. But let's all get back to work. And the three engines left, leaving James complaining about having to take trucks. But that's another story.